Hello everyone, I'm excited to introduce a new OBS plugin that performs OCR text recognition inside OBS. Let's dive in. The new OBS plugin allows to add an OCR filter to any source that has an image output. Whether it's an image or a media source, a browser or plain text, the plugin will extract the text from any of those. First, let's try to set up text from an image source. I have an image here that I brought into OBS as an image source. I can add a crop and pad filter to it, as well as some perspective correction using user-defined shader with a, with a corner pin shader, and potentially some color correction as well, just to take care of the background. And then I'm adding my OCR filter. There's some settings here. First, you need to select the language. Right now I have English and other languages that have to do with reading scoreboards. The update timer will set the interval in which the OCR operation will perform on the image. In this case, I have 1000 milliseconds here or once a second. You can go as low as you want. Under our advanced settings, we have more interesting settings that I'll get to in a moment. We have output formatting. You can add anything you want to the output of the filter, like adding a prefix or a postfix and use the double curly template to inject your OCR output. Finally, we need to select where we want the output of the OCR to go. In this case, I'm choosing this text source that's on my scene. And now the output will appear in this text source. Next, I have a live media source here playing a short video clip. I can add crop pad to it to crop it to just a selection of the timer there on the top. See, it's updating in real time. I can add my OCR filter this time with the Dactronics or scoreboard language model and updating every 100 milliseconds or 10 times a second. I'm going to output this to my scoreboard timer. Under advanced settings, I have a setting here for updating only when the image changes. When consecutive images are similar, it will not run OCR to save on CPU cycles because the output of the OCR would likely be the same. And we can set up the threshold on that. For something that's updating very fast, we can disable this. The page segmentation mode can indicate what type of text I'm trying to read. In this case, I'm trying to read a single word, just these digits with the colon in the middle. I can also limit the characters that are used for recognition. In this case, I might just want to leave only the numbers and the colon. This will make the detection more accurate. I can set up the confidence threshold to only accept OCR readings that are of high confidence. Usually I set it up at 50. This is the result of that OCR operation. See that it tracks the input immediately as it changes. Sometimes there are glitches that we may want to work out. In the OCR filter, you will find an option for smoothing. If you enable that, the OCR filter will try to remove some of the glitches by aggregating a few OCR outputs. It will try to go for each character and find the most stable character over the last few predictions. In this case, I have it set to 10, but you can increase that or decrease that depending on your application. Note that if you enable smoothing, it will create a little bit of a lag, but you'll be trading that off for much higher accuracy. We can do the same with the browser source. Here I have a browser source that's pointed to the GitHub project for this plugin. Again, I can set up some crop pad to only extract the area of this incoming source that I want to focus on and then adding my OCR. In this case, since this thing is not updating very frequently or at all, I can set up my image change filter and I can also set up my update timer to run every three seconds. In this case, I'm trying to find a single line of words and for my character whitelist, I will also add a space in the end to say that these are multiple words in here. I can set my confidence threshold all the way down to zero because the text is very clear in here and I would not be using smoothing. Again, I would output this to one of my text sources and there it is. The OCR filter can even work on text sources. If you have a text source here, in this case, I have a text source that says hello OCR. I can add a filter to it with the OCR with very plain settings and output that to another text source. You can use the OCR filter to interact with your live source or any sort of input that you're showing on your screen and enhance your stream or recording. This is the OCR plugin. If you like this video and the work, please subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.